Hi guys, this is Gustavo. I am the iPhone voiceover coach and with this video I just wanted to kind of get some of those things that you guys are dealing with as far as starting with voiceover. Voiceover on the iPhone, iPad and iPod, they pretty much the same. If you know one device, you pretty much know the others. So this is just an intro. Again, if you want to contact me personally, you can do that so we can have a phone session, a paid phone session. Um, you should co uh, contact me first through email. My email is Gustavo, G-U-S-T-A-V as in Victor, O-1127 at hotmail.com. Again, Gustavo, G-U-S-T-A-V-O-1127 at hotmail.com. And we can set up a, an appointment over the phone. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to I have my iPhone 6 Plus, like you can see. And um, this is primarily for somebody that's blind or visually impaired. The first thing that you notice here, I'm going to press my home button. Saturday, May 7, 10, 15 p.m. And it's going to announce the time and the date. Uh, remember that the iPhones and VoiceOver Screen in particular you can navigate voiceover several ways one is hovering your finger over the screen like this 10, 16 PM. you can touch that and you can feel around unlock button, unlock button. and open you got your camera, camera. Open. open camera and this is I'm doing this by just hovering my finger across the screen Sat 10, 16 PM. what I found actually is that it's easier to use a flicking motion if you can locate a specific unlock, thing, unlock. you must use a flicking motion. And a flicking motion me camera, means button, almost camera, like you're uh, flicking something off a table or trying to clean something off. Unlock, Left flick goes to the previous Saturday, item. May 7, 10, 16 p.m. 10, 16 p.m. Uh, a flick to the right means Saturday, May it 7, moves unlock, to the button. next item. Open camera, button, open camera. For button. this phone, I already have my finger ID set up. I'm just going to set it up here. Messages. Now, this is very important when you are first starting with voiceover and the, the iPhone. If you're not able to see the iPhone, it's very important to you for you to learn the layout. The layout of the iPhone at the very top, you got your status bar. 10, 17 and PM. they're in the middle. Item. You have the time. The status bar gives you what's going on with your phone. Three of three Wi-Fi bars. Two wire zero three one. Okay, it tells you the Wi-Fi signals. AT and T Wi-Fi network. And I have AT and T. News. Let's see. AT AT and T. Two of five bars. Two of five bars uh, from the AT and T signal. Two of five bars. And that's signal that way. I'm gonna flick to the right to go to the next item. AT and T Wi-Fi network. And it repeats what I just went over. Three of three. Three of three. Ten, Eighteen p.m. The time. Orientation locked. Orientation locked. Location tracking on. Alarm set. The alarm is set. Eighty-two percent battery power. And it tells me the battery, battery power. power. If you notice, 82%, 82% wallet. if you notice, there's a little drum indicating that you are at the end of the status bar. There's virtual borders that will allow you to only stay within an area. Okay, so the main area of your iPhone is up here under the status bar. Calendar, messages. I got my messages, and again, like I showed you earlier. You can hover around with one finger Videos. and Stocks. I app store. as you go to each app, it will announce it. If I know, like for example, my iPhone app is down here to the left, Three new items. I can pull that up and because I can just point at it and I know where the location of the app is. Uh, for example, if you don't know where a certain app is, sometimes the flicking gesture is better to use so this is just gonna be a, a very very small intro if you need some help with your phone uh, you know please give me a call or set up a paid 
phone session with me uh, by first contact me, contacting me through my email. And that's again Gustavo, G U S T A V O, 1127 at hotmail.com. And I, I personally, I am a uh, technology specialist and I work with iPhones and iPads all the time. So hopefully, this is a small introductory video on how voiceover works. Uh, there's so much things that you can cover with voiceover and iPhones and iOS devices. So, you know, please feel free to contact me anytime. I will be waiting for your call.